Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Jonathan here with Florida Turf Pros. I want to share something with you that I think is going to pay dividends down the line for your lawn business in 2022. Look man, uh, spring is here in my area and the phone is ringing and work is picking up. Um, we are filling the books um, with landscaping. We're filling the books with some sod stuff. And I tell you, it is just a stark reminder of how easy it is uh, to get behind the eight ball in spring. And the thing that I want to tell you in this video is make sure that you create margin in your schedule right now, okay? Look, if you start saying yes to everything that comes along right now, there's two things that happen. Number one is you fill your schedule with just so-so average work, okay? You have to have room available on your schedule to be able to even say yes to those great projects. If you're taking on a measly, you know, couple hundred dollar project, um, you know, and you're filling up your books with that, you know, you only have so much space as an owner operator. And it's very important that you are picking the right kind of jobs. That was a major learning experience for me last year. I said yes to pretty much everything as we were doing sod and landscaping. It stretched me too thin. I made great money on some stuff and then other stuff. I'm like, why, why are we wasting our time with, with this when I could be making so much better money with a better job? You know, it was stressing me out. And again, it was just stretching me too thin. So that's the first thing is that you have to create margin in your schedule to leave room for better, a more profitable work. Uh, the second thing that I would say about creating margin in your schedule right now is you need to put white space on your board. I'm talking dead time. That is family time. That is time for you to just recharge. I'm telling you, man, there is just something about having some light at the end of the tunnel. You know, you'll get in this spring rush. You're going to be super, super busy and you're going to be working like, you know, 12 hour days, 13 hour days, 14 hour days. And then there's no end in sight because you have completely booked yourself up. You know, your, your wife is starting to get frustrated at you. You know, you're missing kids ball games and all that. Look, I've done it, man. I, I have been there. Okay. And I can tell you, friend that right now, this year for us, um, I have at this point, I have peace. I have clarity about the way that we are going to attack the year. And the thing that has given me such peace is that I'm looking out on my schedule right now. I see some profitable work, but you know what else I see? I see margin on my schedule right now. I see time for me. I see time for vacations. You know, I see time uh, for la relaxing with my family, you know, at, at our one of our local beaches, you know. And again, it just gives you light at the end of the tunnel. You're in that thick of things in the spring. You've worked three, four weeks in a row just busting your butt every day. But you know what? You can look into next week or two weeks from now and you can see, hey, I have nothing to do that week. And it doesn't happen by accident, guys. You have to be intentional uh, with your time. Let me say that again, it's important enough to hear it. You have to be intentional with your time. Look, if you say yes to everything, you will be stressed out, you will be doing low margin work, and it's just not the best way to tackle the year. So I would encourage you, as you are planning your 2022 lawn care season, make sure you are creating margin in your schedule, uh, not only for better profit margins, uh, but for your sanity. Y'all take care. God bless.